Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Chani Sports, and welcome to the Cristiano Ronaldo Junior career mode. I hope you guys had a great day, and we are now back announced into or called up into the Portuguese national team, beloved by Pep Guardiola, as you can see in the top left corner. And a great season so far for Manchester City, in which we have already played over 11 games, have won nine of them and lost two of them. 10 goals and one assist for Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., who now is a striker at Manchester City and is enjoying life. But there is a big issue. We are far, far away from the league title. Liverpool currently on 61 points. They are nine points ahead of us. If we can win both of the games today in the league, that will mean we go up to the 29 game total as well. And that will put us at around 58 points. Only three points behind Liverpool. That is hopefully something we can achieve. I would love to fight for the title. And Manchester United is now ahead of us as well. That cannot happen. In yesterday's episode, we had a great run of games. We had the match against Manchester United in the Cup, which was amazing. We have the loss against Spurs, which wasn't that nice. The win against Real Madrid, putting us through into the next round. And our opponents are going to be Atletico Madrid in the next round of the Champions League. So that is going to be a big quarterfinal matchup for us. And then after that, we have Liverpool coming up as well. But before all of that, the match against our former club, Norwich City. We're going to jump into that one, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. If you are, make sure to support the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing if you are new. Of course, turn on notifications because YouTube does not give you the notifications. Lately, the past like week or so, we've had YouTube algorithm issues. And uh, yeah, if you were notified, you would have seen the videos. If you weren't, well, a lot of you guys did miss the videos. I can see it in my stats personally. But here it goes, guys. Norwich. It is today in the first matchup. There's a comment though coming in from XYZ who says, I like this career mode because of how realistic it is. 170 games, 118 goals. Usually you see people lower the difficulty and score 240 goals in 170 games. I don't know who, do, who does that, but isn't it like, I feel like the, the essence of the series in general, like what most people enjoy in career mode, what I've personally have seen uh, from my content as well, People enjoy the start, the struggle, the hard times. But as soon as you start winning consistently, everyone's like, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> it's like, all right. So you, got, you guys just want me to struggle all the time. I get it. I get it. Maybe that's the way to go on YouTube from now on. We just take a the worst team of all time and put them into the Premier League and just try and do well somehow. I don't know. It's just an idea. They have given Lukaku player of the month. All right, then. Norwich, our old team now with the likes of Suchek at left midfield. That cannot happen. Let's try that again. Suchek still at left midfield. Let's try that again. Come on, EA. You can do it. Well, he is still at left midfield. Well, it is what it is. We're going to be playing against this squad right here who have set up with Kelleher in goal. The uh, man that was in goal when we were there as well. This is going to be a bit painful I, I kind of enjoyed my time at Norwich, man. I got to say. So we're going to jump into this game and try to win. We got to get the two wins. The next two Premier League games have to be victories. If we don't get victories here, I might as well just, you know, stop playing football overall. Quick little question to the viewers. Um, I have seen that Eddie Howe has now officially been announced as the Newcastle United coach. Do you think he's the right man to take that club from where they are right now, which is basically relegation? into a non-relegation zone do you think he can make that happen because for that to happen some teams that are doing much better than newcastle right now have to drop down into the relegation zone so i don't know how to feel about that i know how to feel about this long shot oh we hit the post pep normally doesn't like people taking long shots but he knows by now that we have them quality long shots Absolutely no curve on that one since it was on his left foot here. I personally, when it comes to this Newcastle situation, I think if Newcastle get this takeover and they get this new coach and they still get relegated, that would kind of be hilarious. I, I got to be real with you. So it would take a long time for them to actually get things done. They want it too. And we get another chance. 
which is saved easily. Bernardo on the corner. I am in the center. That is nowhere near me. Ruben Diaz tries something weird there. Another corner comes flying in. Barella has been a great addition to this club, by the way. He has replaced Kevin De Bruyne really nicely in my eyes. Uh, he has been a great player to come in. 89 rated, beast on the ball, great passing play, nice movement. All you need in that position. Ref, foul. Go on, Ferran. Ferran Torres. Bro, Ferran Torres is on fire. He's like in real life as well. I think this guy's quality, man. I can see him actually become like one of the best in the world in the future if he keeps it up. I'm not talking like top 10, but I'm talking like one of the players that you look at and you know, okay, this guy's actually like sick. He can he can do some damage. So yeah, there he goes. Great finish. Ferran Torres, as long as he stays with Pep, he will probably become a better player each season. He is a quality player. Being able to play in multiple positions in the attack as well makes him such a viable option for any coach. Just like Jota for Liverpool, basically. You can sub him in at striker, left wing, right wing. Same thing you can do with Ferran Torres. Cristiano. Now up against two. Plays it across to Sterling. Sterling. Ah, he plays it back to us. It is, I gotta admit, it is kind of easy to get past the Norwich players. I think if we do get a 2-0, it might be time to rest up Cristiano a little bit because he has been struggling with stamina for a long time. So if we can get a 2-0 scoreline before half time, I think I'm going to have to take myself off and put Gabriel Jesus onto the pitch. He can still do a great job, so that should be fine. Bro, my skill moves are not happening. Look at this. My skill moves are not happening. I was doing three skill moves back to back. And this is what I'm getting. Is this the new patch now? Look at this. I did a step over there. He, he slides off the pitch. Look at this. He just moonwalks. And I did another skill move there. And he just doesn't do it. Yo. EA, I think you might have broken the game, man. I think you might have broken the game. That was another step over there. I did three step overs. And he just moonwalks. What the hell is going on? Oh, this is it now. Let's see if the step overs work now. Oh, see, it doesn't work. It legit doesn't work. It doesn't work. I can't do it. Oh, come on, EA. You actually broke the gameplay now too? That's how far you're taking this? You guys don't just ruin the starting lineups, but you also ruined the gameplay. I legit cannot do step overs without it glitching. Unbelievable. How incompetent do you have to be? Anyways, I don't want to do too much damage to my old squad. Norwich, we're only 1-0 up. I'm just going to take the hike now. I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I need, I need that stamina up. Our team needs to win this. I mean, come on. If they don't win this, I'll be extremely upset. Gabriel Jesus comes on. He's like 86 rated, 87 rated at this point as well. We should be able to win this easily without me on the pitch. So don't you dare. Oh my God. I... I want to punch someone. I can't believe we've conceded in the 90th minute. 11 shots. 11 against four. And it's 1-1. This team is freaking pointless. Like, uh, how, how is every team sucking when we get subbed off? This is Man City we're talking about, man. Against the 18th in the league. Can I not trust my team to do things without me? It's ridiculous. After the international break where I didn't play a single game, a uh, win against Sweden, a loss against Romania, couldn't care less because the manager didn't want to play me anyways. Um, we're going to be up against Chelsea now. Now, we are on 53 points. I'm not happy with that. I'm really, really not happy with that. And uh, Spurs is nine points ahead of us. It's not looking good, guys. I mean, I think we have to go on an unbeaten run in order to be able to win the title. And that's, that's insane, right? So there's 38 games to be played. 10 games to go for Spurs and yeah I I'm very upset I'm very upset so we're gonna jump into this one aggressive but determined to win the game against Chelsea they are a very good side and they do play five at the back if I'm not mistaken yes they do which is going to be incredibly hard to get past but finally we have a full stamina Cristiano approaching this matchup so hopefully that will help us boys we are the TIFO but that doesn't mean anything. I need a 10 point or match rating. I need to destroy this Chelsea squad. So let's try and do it. We are here to win. We are here to fight for the Premier League title. 
I'm not sat here to get draws against Norwich, man. I can't believe I can't trust this team to get a win against Norwich. That's ridiculous, isn't it? No, Ederson, thank you. Ninth minute, first chance belongs to Chelsea. They are playing Lukaku as a right wing and Sada as a striker. Again, just EA things, I guess. But hey, can't complain, can I? Ferran. Ferran Torres. I'm playing it over the top to you. Ferran Torres. Oh, I thought he scored. I genuinely thought he just did that for us. Great pass that was. Even though we have horrible passing. That was a decent one in behind. And Ferran made the best of it. They're giving me too much space. Oh, come on. What is that for a horrific try? Absolutely woeful. Hit me. Hit me. That is not hitting me, is it? Ferran Torres. I should have passed it. I should have passed it. I should have passed it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. The camera is too zoomed in. Maybe I need to zoom the camera out a little bit. Go on. Go on. Ah, oh, man, just... Dude, maybe I, I'm going to zoom the camera out a little bit more, guys. I feel like I'm not necessarily seeing everything at times. So, uh, pro camera zoom. Let's zoom it out a little bit. Let's, let's make it zero. Let's see how that affects our gameplay. Because at times, I can't tell who's around me. So, um... Hopefully, this will help. Oh, big steal. Bro, I don't even know what to do here. I just... The camera is much better, I can tell. I see much more, like, around me, behind me as well. Um, but it doesn't help me when it comes to actually being skilled at this game. Too late. Too late. That pass was too late. No, it's onside. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Cristiano Ronaldo. He has done it. The junior. I thought it was offside. I saw the flag above my head. For a split second, I thought I was. Oh, let's go. Big moment for Cristiano and Manchester City in the race for the title. In behind my tip. And past Mendy, finally. What a terrible game I was having until that point, guys. Honestly, one of my worst games of all time. I was losing the ball, just making mistakes over and over again. And finally, we pulled it off there. No, no. Oh, thank God. Wow. I thought he was about to score. The composure was affected negatively there by our teammates pushing him. And now Jimenez is coming in as a right back. So we constantly keep subbing in center backs at right back. This is great. I love how EA have coded this game. Referee, disgraceful tackle and a red card for Kai Harvard. What's up, Kai? What's up, Kai, huh? What's up, lad? Wanna fight? Wanna fight? Get out of here, pal. Red carded. I scored a goal, you didn't. You missed the chance. And now we have a free kick. Are you kidding? Am I going to take this on target? Can I not take this on target? Wait, there we go. Yes. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be fun. Oh my God. Do you see how it like goes like that? I love it. Please do not bottle this in the last minutes. I beg you. I beg you, Man City. Come on. You guys can do it. Kabore against hudson Adoy. Kabore gets outplayed. hudson Adoy. They keep playing it back and forward, back and forward. Please tell me that was offside. It wasn't. 89th minute. Please end this misery. I'm going to join into the defense. No. No. You're not going to play this inside. Yes, I covered that pass. Let's go. He couldn't do anything about it. Terrible pass. Terrible pass. Three minutes added on. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I'm going to chase it down. I'm chasing it. I'm chasing it. I'm running back. I'm defending. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle defending Hudson Adoy. Yes! Let's go, man! Ronaldo Jr. gets it done. 1 0. Chelsea is beaten. And we have finally beaten our fear of playing against a five at the back. I mean, it was, technically speaking, one of our worst games ever. But still, we take the three points, man. Seems like this team is very much reliant on us. Just like Norwich as well back in the day. Uh, for some reason. Uh, if we don't play, they bottle it. So we have to play that full game, of course. Man of the match, 8.8. .8. Don't care if I get manager's approval or not. A win's a win. That right there puts us up to 56 points. And Spurs is still 7 points ahead of us. 
which um, is doable if we keep on winning. If we can somehow keep on winning, we can get it done. Spurs is doing well. Liverpool is doing well. It's going to be a three-way battle for the title. And I really, really hope that we can somehow pull it off, guys. We're up against West Ham. And after that, it is Atletico Madrid just a few days after. There is no breaks for Cristiano. He will have to play with low stamina. It's fine. I'll try and like uh, keep myself a little bit from running around too much. But the team is overall quite tired compared to the West Ham squad. Who probably are not playing in Europe. So... Uh, yeah, they seem to be fine. But this is going to be another game where we are going to have to carry the squad again. I can feel it already. All right, guys. In this match, one of my goals is obviously going to be to try and score and win the game. But also, not run into my opponents like a headless chicken. All right. So, let's try and do that. Good passing play here. Go on. Good pass again. Barella. Grealish. Grealish plays it across. Cabore coming in with the cross. And here goes Cristiano. Yeah. Yes, Cabore, calma, calma. I'm here to save the day. I'm here to save the day, boys. We want that title. Let's grab it. Cabore, I peel off the defenders and I'm in the center by myself. This is a very bad defense from uh, a very bad defensive showcase from West Ham, I should say. But in real life, man, how good are West Ham? Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think... West Ham can go ahead and get top four. Can they pull it off? I don't know if they can, but they are playing incredible football right now. So I wouldn't be surprised. They beat Liverpool, the first team to beat Liverpool this season. So uh, yeah, they are a dangerous, dangerous squad. And David Moyes has them trained extremely well in terms of tactics. Good ball. Down the wing goes Grealish. Grealish sees me again. I'm going to have to dribble inside and play it. Ferran Torres. Go on, lads. Bernardo. Bernardo, if you need me, someone someone needs to take the shot, lads. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Stop it, Ederson. Oh, okay. David Moyes and his squad are trying to get one back, but our defense seems stable enough in that position. Maybe we can get this moving forward. If I can get a touch on this. No, we can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was that was clearly happening. Ah, West Ham get one back. Great football. Our defense is sleeping. And that's a quality strike. What a good goal that is. 1-1. One, one. Fornals is a plain striker. And he's doing a good job. What the hell is going on, man? EA put players into the wrong positions. And they still do well. And possibly thinking about the uh, second win trait, guys. Because um, the Gladiator one, I don't know if it is helping in this team. We're conceding nonetheless. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe picking that one up. Because our stamina is always so low going into the second half. So I'm really, really thinking about that one right now. Ruben, if you can find me, buddy. Yes, Ruben. Yes, Ruben. This is my position. It's it's hitting the post. It's hitting the post. 58. I need this win against West Ham, man. I desperately need it. So let's make our moves, lads. Down the right we go. Ferran Torres. Ferran. Inside he has Ferran. He gets, he gets it over to him. We get it over to us. And another great save. Man. Wait, that wasn't a save? Wow. Okay. So we had six shots and I only scored once. We got we got to get one on target, man. Playing the cross to Ferran. He finds us now and we lose it. We have it back again. Ferran Torres making a great run. He's in. He's inside. Go on, Ferran. Keep it up, lad. Great pass. Grealish, I need you to pass it or pass. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. That was actually Barella passing it over to Grealish. Come on. Beautiful moment for the club. 2-1 against West Ham. Beautifully done, man. Barella. What is that? Incredible turn and pass. That's what Barella does, boys. I love that. Jack Grealish playing for Raheem Sterling in this game and showcasing his abilities. Love that. 66 2-1 up. Let's make sure we get this dub. We need to chase down the big boys up top. So here we go again. I'm going to take the shot. I'm... Ooh. I kind of thought that was going in. Nick Pope is too big, man. I can't score long shots against this dude. Ooh, last minute attack, maybe. If I can get past this, lads. 
No, nope, I can't. Well, that was a good try. At least I'm going to try and hold on to the ball now. Ha <laughs> ha, unlucky. Whoa, we actually got that. Yikes. 88th minute. I can't be losing the ball in those minutes. I'm back and defending. I'm back and defending. Please, 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 please don't score. I beg you. I beg you, West Ham. I beg you, West Ham. Please don't do this. Don't take away the title from me. Thank you. Whew. Okay, uh, Ferran Torres. Let's slowly move it forward. Let's play an over the top through ball because why not? Because why not? The ref blows the whistle. A win against West Ham. A hard worked win. We got to win every single game, guys. There is no more or there are no more excuses left. We have dropped points against too many teams. And right here, Nick Pope did his best. And I tried to shoot and shoot and shoot. And at the end of the day, we did get the win with a goal from Jack Grealish, which was very nicely played by Barella. I got to give it to him. Jack Grealish with the 8.1, Barella with the 8.0. Ferran Torres had a good, good game as well. But uh, yeah, we keep on getting dubs. Let's chase them down. Top three. We are right now. I want to be at the top. Well, we have earned our spot in the starting lineup. Pepe slowly starting to trust us more and more, and hopefully we'll never drop out of it again. But here it is, guys. 14 games, 12 goals, one assist for Cristiano. And now in the quarterfinals, this could be massive. Let's see. Bayern Munich against United. United is winning. Okay. Leipzig against Dortmund. The German battle right there. P PSG against Arsenal. So I'm saying Manchester make it through. Dortmund make it through. City make it through. And PSG make it through. Those are my predictions. And I would love to play against United in the final. How amazing would that be, though? Like, how incredible would that be? CR7 versus CR14 in the Champions League final. Please make it happen. Anyways, let's jump into the Atleti game. Let's try and get past this team before we start thinking about a, uh, a matchup against his dad in the final. Greenwood and Joao Felix, Alexander Isak, Lemar, Soler, Tillemans, Lorente. And only a three at the back. Oh, yes. Atleti coming in with a very strong squad, of course. They're playing at home now at the, what is it, Vanda Metropolitano? I think that's how it's called. What a beautiful name. Anyways, um, we're going to we're gonna have to really, really calm down with the running around. I have very, very low stamina. I might be able to put in a good shift for maybe 60 minutes. But after that, for the better of my team, I might have to sub myself off and see what Gabriel Jesus can do. Oh, Atleti are already in. Joao Felix. Henderson. Alexander Isak. And they have another shot with Joao. And Henderson has to step in another time. Atleti dominating the first 10 minutes of this game. Oh my. Ref. That's a red. That's a clear red card. It's first of all a tactical foul. And the slight tackle from behind. What? What are you doing, ref? That's clearly, clearly Greenwood just hating me. Raheem, I am not going to play it into you, pal. I'm going to go for it. It's what am I doing? What am I actually doing? Do I think I'm freaking Roberto Carlos? What's going on here? Pass the ball, Johnny. There you go. Fed on Torres. Oh, no. Come on. This leads into a counter now. Please, no. Please stop him. Hello. Someone step in. Tielemans, Barella, boys. Step in there. Get him. Go get him. Greenwood. Isak. Greenwood. Isak again down the wing. He has the space. Plays it inside. Header. Ederson. Another save forced out of him. And now we have the ball back. Sterling. Great ball into Ferran Torres. Ferran. If you need me, pal. Yes. I see you. Grealish. No, that was for Grealish. That was supposed to be for Grealish. He was through on target. Hold on. I'm going to lose this again. I have lost it again. Man, I messed up there. Go on, play me through. Yes. Oh, Black. Oh, Black, you can't save it this time, can you? Oh, no, I'm offside. Really? What? Come on, man. Ah, oh, it's close, but it is off. Yikes. Lorente! Lorente! Great chance for him on his left foot. Right before half time. Nil nil so far. I mean, I wouldn't mind going home with a draw here. And uh, then beating them up at home. That'd be ideal. But hey, 
It's it's a struggle right now. Atleti have had the better chances, in my opinion. Great ball by Bernardo. I'm making my run. I'm making my run! And they're all blocked, man. This dude is too good. How do you even get past him? We're under pressure again from Alexander Isak. Isak could pass it into the man in the center there. Greenwood! Oh, man. I don't even know what to say, man. It's just upsetting to see. It's just very upsetting to watch. I can see it coming from a mile away that Greenwood would get that pass and our defenders are just sleeping. <sighs> Mason Greenwood is currently the best striker on the pitch because I do not have a goal and he does. And he also slight tackled me from behind. So maybe a little rivalry is building up there. The former Manchester United man against us. I don't know. Come on. Is that a good ball? Sterling! Oh, a diving header. And Oplak still reacts to it. Man, this guy's incredible. Greenwood again. Greenwood again, man. He is just ruining us today. Greenwood on it again. Another pass. Another shot. Atleti. 89th minute. We just do not get a touch on the ball, do we? Atleti! It's 2-0. This puts us under immense pressure moving forward, guys. This is possibly the worst result we could have ever asked for. Ah, oh, lads, I'm in the thick of it now. I'm in there just waiting for the cross to come towards us. It's a terrible cross. Come on. We've lost 2-0 in the quarterfinals against Atleti. And this is going to be the biggest challenge of cristiano's life to go ahead and make a comeback against this strong atletico madrid team i genuinely don't think we can do it i honestly don't think we can do it guys this might look at that look at the amount of shots i've taken on target all of them have been saved by oblak man the guy is incredible ah <sighs> It's a shame. It's a shame. This might be the end. Can't really say much about that game right there, guys. But we're only five points behind Spurs right now. And we got to focus on that. We're up against Arsenal. And then only two days after, we're going to be up against Atletico. I don't know how I'm supposed to pull this off with low stamina. How am I supposed to do this? Look at that, man. I have 60% stamina. Boys, I'm not kidding. The coach might not play us against Atleti. If we play the full game here, we will be below 50% stamina by the end of it. And he won't play us against Atleti. And he will, it will just be simmed. So, I don't know what to say here. Rubble looking very unhappy in that Arsenal kit. But we're going to be up against them, guys. We have found ourselves a new rival in Mason Greenwood. <sighs> it's going to be an intense episode next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cristiano and his team are struggling more than ever before. And I don't know if we can achieve any of our goals this season, which was the Champions League title and the Premier League title. But it's looking very bad right now at Manchester City. And yeah, I don't know how we're going to pull this off within this short amount of time with this intense schedule. I'll try my best, but we'll see. Have a great day, guys. See you next time. Take care and peace.